enzyme structure and properties you are watching this lecture on my youtube channel dr biochem lectures my name is dr alam zeb i am a professor at the department of biochemistry university of malacan i read phd from the technical university of graz at the institute of biochemistry graz austria The contents of this presentation include structure of enzyme, properties of enzymes. First, structure of enzymes. Uh, enzymes are protein in nature, so they may be simple or conjugated protein. Uh, the structure component uh, includes apoenzyme, coenzyme or cofactors, prostatic group or an active site. You can see in this picture uh, the whole enzyme, which we call it holoenzyme. It consists of apoenzymes, coenzymes, active site and cofactor. Now the first part is known as apoenzyme. It is the protein part of the enzyme, which is made at the sequence of amino acid. Mostly, this is an active form, uh, especially in conjugated uh, protein. It, it, it is in a 3D shape and structure. You can see here uh, the structure of uh, enzyme, uh, which is known as glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. It has a specific uh, sites for the attachment of NADP, NADP uh, cofactor and coenzymes. Coenzymes. Coenzymes are the non protein component which are loosely bonded to apoenzyme by non covalent bond. Uh, coenzyme binds to the enzyme and assist in enzyme activity. They can be bind and react with many different enzymes. They help enzyme convert substrate into products. Uh, coenzymes are mostly organic molecules such as vitamins. Uh, most of them are vitamins. First example that the coenzyme is coenzyme A. Uh, the structure of coenzyme A is made up 3 phosphoadenosine, diphosphate or organophosphate, pentoic acid, beta alanine, and cystamine. These are the five components of the uh, coenzyme structure. This enzyme takes part in the metabolism uh, of several uh, metabolites. It is also used for the energy production. Uh, in this table, you can see some coenzyme. They serve as a transient carrier of specific atoms or functional group. Uh, for example, a coenzyme bio. 15 uh, is used to uh, carry out the carbon dioxide conversion and the dietary precursor is biotin. Uh, similarly, we have coenzyme A that we talk about, uh, 5-deoxyadenosylcoblamine, yeah, or we call it uh, coenzyme B12 and so on. Here are the examples of uh, Inorganic element, they serve as a cofactor by enzyme, for example, copper is for cytochrome oxidase, iron uh, for cytochrome oxidase, catalase, potassium, magnesium, um, magnesium, molybdenum, nickel, selenium, and zinc. These are uh, the elements which are used for these uh, enzymes. Mm, the most important of them are like uh, iron, which are used in oxidation reduction reactions. Next important part is prostatic group. Prostatic group is non 
amino acid component. It is a part of the structure at the hetero protein or conjugated protein. It is covalently linked to apoprotein. It is required for the protein biological activity. Uh, remember, it should not be confused with the cofactor. Example of the prostatic group are uh, plevin, mononucleotide, FMN, plevin, FAD, biotin, and so on. Active site. Uh, the most important uh, part of the enzyme is the active site. It is the region of the enzyme where substrate binds and it undergo a chemical reaction. Uh, it consists of amino acid re residues that form bonds with substrate. Uh, they have specific shape due to the 3D shape of the enzyme. Uh, any change in the shape uh, can affect the change in the enzyme activity so the shape must be uh, usually rigid in the specific enzymes while uh, varied in the uh, uh, induced enzyme model system uh, you can see here the catalase enzyme with the active site uh, uh, for the water molecule catalytic residue of the site interact with the substrate to lower activation energy of the uh, reactant. Now properties of enzymes. Uh, enzymes speed up the chemical reaction. It lowers activation energy as we know it. Uh, it is required in small amount as compared to the reactant. Uh, they are have specific or specific reactions or substrate. Uh, activity is usually affected by temperature. Uh, it is also affected by pH. Uh, while the cat it catalyzes uh, reversible reactions, these are the most important properties of enzyme. Uh, now we will discuss the effects of temperature and the activity of enzyme. Uh, generally, little activity of the enzyme is at the low temperature, and when the temperature increases, the activity also increases. And most activity it, uh, is at the optimum temperature, uh, like 37 in human, and activity lasts with denaturation. And you can see in, uh, in this picture the activity of uh, the enzyme increases with the temperature, and then there is a, a peak. Uh, which we call is optimal uh, temperature and then the activity decreases with any uh, change in the temperature. Uh, the most common example is the prying of the uh, egg. Next is the effect of pH. Enzyme have an optimum pH for its specific activity. If the pH changes much from the optimum, the chemical nature of the amino acid can change and this uh, may result in change in the bonds so the tertiary structure may break down uh, the active site will be disrupted and the enzyme will be denatured so uh, pH is very very important and we, you, we know that there are um, uh, enzyme is two different pH range. One is at uh, like for example the pepsin, and the other is trypsin. And you can see the their activity at both different temperature range in the acidic and basic range. Uh, the most common example is the curd, which is a dairy product obtained by coagulating milk in a process called curdling. Uh, in this case. Uh, we add some reagent or um, ingredient and that can change the pH of the milk and thus we obtain uh, the specific coagulation of the milk proteins. Effects of enzyme concentration. Now we would like to see how the enzyme concentration affects the activity. At the low enzyme concentration there is a uh, great competition for the activity active sites and the rate of the reaction is low. As the enzyme concentration 
uh, increases their or more active sites and the reaction can proceed at a faster rate. Increasing the enzyme concentration beyond a certain point has no effect because the substrate concentration uh, become the limiting factor. This is very important. So you can see in this picture uh, the enzyme activity is increased with the increasing in enzyme concentration but it should be remembered that after some time uh, the uh, substrate concentration is uh, a limiting factor. Now how substrate concentration uh, affect uh, the enzyme activity? Uh, at the low substrate concentration, there are many active sites that are not occupied. This means that the reaction rate is low. When more substrate molecule are added, more enzyme substrate complex can be formed. Is there are more active sites? and the rate of the reaction increases increasing the substrate concentration uh, yet further will have no effect because uh, the active sites in this case will be saturated so no more enzyme substrate complex can be formed. Mm, you can see in this picture the rate of the enzyme activity initially increased up to a certain limit and then the enzyme concentration become uh, a limiting factor so the activity is then uh, constant.